Zones are extremely useful. They're simple yet powerful. The idea is that you take different interfaces and aggregate them into one zone. By doing so, every security policy that you apply on the zone will take effect on all interfaces. And by all interfaces, I mean physical interfaces and virtual interfaces such as VLANs. Now let's take the following. Let's create three interfaces, one zone, one policy, and three address objects. Coming up. All right, so the setup is the following. We have the finance uh, division at port three, we have logistics at port five, and we have a marketing division at port two. The marketing division also has a VLAN inside, which is the uh, marketing managers. Now, we will aggregate all three interfaces into one zone. We will name that zone priority. And in sources, we will create three address objects. You can use those address objects for specific devices on your uh, different interfaces. And we will also apply what is known as a block interest on traffic so that uh, devices from different interfaces cannot communicate uh, with each other. All right, so the very first thing is that we will actually in network interfaces create new zone. Let's name our zone. Let's name, you know what? Let's do it using the command line. Let's do it using the command line. So let's open up the command line. All right, um, config system zone. Let's just name our zone, let's name it priority. All right, and here we actually set the, either the intro zone, let's just use the nice, so no one can actually talk to each other. And we have three interfaces, we have port three, we have port five, and we have a VLAN. And now let's set the interfaces. So we have, um, no, that's the intro zone, sorry for that. Let's set the interfaces. So we have port three and we have port five and we have the marketing VLAN. All right, let's end it. And let's now just refresh the page. And there we have it. We have the zone at the uh, bottom of the page. The zone name is priority and it includes two physical interfaces and one virtual interface. All right, now let's just uh, create a policy. Let's move to our policy page. Let's name our policy the same as we named our zone. Let's name it interface. And the incoming interface is actually the priority zone. The outgoing is our WAN interface. We can also uh, include internal local area network as our outgoing interface. In sources, now let's just create um, three, three sources uh, that will uh, belong to each interface. So for the first one, PC1, Let's just create it belongs to our priority zone. Okay, let's add up another interface, another address. Sorry for that. At uh, PC2, let's just use 9.33 slash 32. It also includes, it's also a part of our priority zone. And the third object, the third address object will be PC3. Remember those uh, devices, each device actually belongs to another interface. All right, so let's just uh, let's add this one and let's add this one and this one. So these are the sources 
each device belongs to a different interface which is aggregated into our priority zone in destination let's just give them all service all and let's just enable application control and antivirus